right for Mel to then ask for a fee because she's at this position because it is now her career because time is money for Mel would she be right to then say to hello and welcome to my channel I'm Andre and welcome to another of my chit chat videos where I like to share my thoughts and experiences everything is done for entertainment purposes not based on any facts at all and all allegedly okay let's get started on the chit chat video first of all go grab yourself your favorite beverage i have my rosy of course i do you go grab whatever you want hurry back so we can chit chat so you can share your thoughts down in the comments cheers okay let's get into it so this video came about from my last two chit chat videos that were basically based around basically based <laughs> around jerusha's um kind of goodbye for now video i know i know it's looking like i'm really milking this milking jerusha's name here but people you are clicking on when i have jerusha on my thumbnail therefore i decided to put somebody different this time so i decided to go with mel in melbourne let's see how many of you click because mel in melbourne is on the thumbnail there's a reason i have mel on my thumbnail apart from getting the clicks <laughs> which you know if you stay and keep on listening and watching i'll get to why i have mel on the thumbnail now remember we keep it nice in the comments we do not throw accusations in the comments let's be nice to moi and anybody that is mentioned okay this is like i said it's all done for fun just to chat people just so you and i can have a little chat anyway so the video is about kind of do we owe anybody anything if they have helped us along the way so this kind of was coming up a couple of times on my comments and one of the comments came from at lifestyle by janita and she says both of your points are valid i would add if jerusha helped this friend grow her channel and she is where she is today because of their friendship then i would be hurt to know she was used and it wasn't a true friend so this came on the back where jerusha spoke about this comment came where jerusha spoke about two people not wanting to collaborate with her so do we owe anybody anything now the examples i was going to bring I certainly have never ever forgotten who gave me my first shout out and who was the first person that ever tagged me and I'm going back a very 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 long time and I do and did feel very very grateful extremely grateful to these people they had absolutely nothing to gain from it because their channels well one of them their channel was bigger than mine at the time and that was sam from snape hp is that right was that her name she doesn't have a youtube channel anymore but she is on instagram and um, she was the first person that gave me my first ever shout out she used to have this thing i can't remember now if it was on a monthly basis or a weekly basis where she would shout out channels that she was enjoying right i'm gonna leave that one there because i'm gonna come back to that okay now the first person that gave me that tagged me the very first person that ever tagged me was me and mr vuton I haven't seen a video from her in such a long time. I don't even know. I haven't checked actually if her if she's still if her channel is still there. I don't I honestly don't know. If it's there, I'll link it below. But she certainly hasn't uploaded a video in a very, very long time. I tried to look up Sam's channel and I don't know if I'm putting in the wrong name, but I can't find it. But she hasn't done videos for 
such a long time so do i owe these content creators anything well it depends what we mean by do we owe them anything i certainly wouldn't refuse to collaborate with either of them because i feel they helped me along when sam shouted out my channel i did get quite a few subscribers at the time um, I was very, I uh, only had a few subscribers, she shouted out my channel and then people subscribed because Sam shouted out my channel. And again, I can't remember, I think me and Mr. Vuitton were probably at the same level. Actually, I think Sam, I found me and Mr. Vuitton from a shout out from Sam's channel as well. So, but I would never forget that. I know when you first come onto YouTube and you see friends, acquaintances, YouTube friends, whatever you like to call them, you know, tagging each other. It's always, they're always tagging the same people. You know, I remember me and Mr. Vuitton tagging me. I was like, oh, I've been tagged to do a video. Wow, 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 wow. And it was amazing. In saying that, I remember somebody that I quite often tagged and would try and help really really help um then did kind of a nasty video about me <laughs> so she certainly didn't feel she owed me anything she just maybe thought it would help her channel grow or whatever i don't know i don't know but you you don't know what's going on in people's minds but she didn't name me in the video but she decided to make a video about me apparently I was copying her or whatever anyway that was a long time ago Andrew let things go let them go <laughs> it's not about that well it is in a way because it goes back to you know feeling it's like being I don't know so much if you owe them something but it's being grateful for that shout out and you know if like i said if either of these two girls want if if i was a much bigger content creator um and i suppose it's easy for me to say now as a small time youtuber content creator whatever you like to call me um it's easy for me to say of course i would collaborate but i'm that type of person i never forget you know who has helped along the way who has been there for me in the same way you i hate to use the word subscribers but you people that watch me my people that watch me the ones that watch me all the time no matter what scada i'm putting out you're still watching me you'll still leave your comments and i when i tell you i appreciate that i appreciate that and it's the same names again i'm not going to start shouting out names but you know and those of you that are in the comments you'll see the same names coming up and i would never forget that you know no matter how much my channel grew as if it would it might you never know people who knows somebody might like my weirdness <laughs> me being up front <laughs> me just showing an ordinary life rather than you know this a wonderful amazing life i show it as it is people and i say it as it is but um yeah I'll, i would never ever forget that but that's the person i am so Let's go back to Sam Snape. I hope I'm Snape HP. What's that? Somebody put it down in the comments. I'm sure that's what it was. And Mel. This is where I'm going to touch on Mel. So now Mel in Melbourne has over 300 subscribers. And I'm sure when Sam shouted out my channel, she shouted out mel's channel at the same time and i'm giving mel as an example because of her growth because where she is now because she is over 300,000 subscribers so she shouted out mel's channel and like i said i'm sure it was the same time she shouted mine i may be wrong but that's how i found mel in melbourne i'm going back a long 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 time and mel was not a big channel at the time i think this she had one or maybe two videos out at the time it was on a handbag 
it was on a Louis Vuitton handbag it was that one that looked I can't remember the name of it now but it looked like the Pachette Metis but it wasn't and I'm sure it was in the Azure put it down in the comments if you remember it looked like the Pachette but it was it was very very similar to this style and I think it came out just after this but it wasn't this I can't remember the name of it just now anyway so she shouted out Mel's channel Sam shouted out Mel's channel and it was a tiny channel like I said and I was I was am um, a tiny channel as well but Mel's channel she obviously got subscribers from Sam and it kind of put her out there and um, like I said that's how I found her channel through Sam but her channel exploded and it grew because she was good at what she did so her channel grew because of her own hard work and what she put into it and obviously she connected with people and people loved her because like I said I can't remember where she was but we were both small time YouTubers at the time I'm still where I am now loving every minute of it but Mel's channel went it exploded and you know I'm sure you know who Mel is and <laughs> if you've clicked this video because she's on the thumbnail you know who Mel is she has the most amazing collection you name it people she's got it Hermes Chanel designer jewellery designer shoes ready to wear living her best life also I discussed on my last video you know about because Jerusha had discussed it as well on her video leaving um your day job day job nine to five to take up this as this as in youtube as a full-time career and here's your prime example somebody who had a successful career and then left it to pursue youtube because it's also now a successful career for her and obviously it must be making her lot a lot more money to have left her day job to do youtube as her job at the end of the day so there's your prime example of YouTube being a career the other one is um Shea Whitney who also left a successful career and has now made this massive career in YouTube and this is a prime example of both these girls being so good at what they do putting the time and effort into what they do like not just turning on the camera and chatting which is what I do because that's not me to sit here and read a script there is some sort of planning there's an idea there's a scribbled idea on it which kind of makes me gather my thoughts when I have an idea I kind of quickly scribble it down but when I'm talking to you, it's what's coming out the top of my head, as you can probably tell at the time. Just like I would be chatting with a friend. You know, that's that's the way I do my videos. So you can see the difference there. How much, because they have worked. They, even if you go right back to Whitney's video, um, first video, you'll see how much effort she's put into it. And the same with Mill. There's a lot of effort. The sound is good. The lighting is good. Everything is thought out before you know they've gone on to do it. When I did my first video, I sat my iPad on my windowsill and just spoke as I do now, and haven't basically moved on. Anyway, so the point I'm making here is after all that rambling, they have become a success because of the work that they have put in but they I don't know about I can't remember I don't know about Shea Whitney so we'll leave her aside I have no idea with Shea Whitney and um, how if if anybody gave her a shout out I don't know but I do remember Mel getting a shout out from Sam and 
at the time when I subscribed to Mel. So Mel, if you are here, I've been with you for a very, very long time. A very long time. Um, she didn't have a lot of subscribers at the time and then she quickly, quickly grew through her own hard work. There's no taking that away. But does she owe anything to Sam? So if Sam, hypothetically, I mean, Sam's not here, asked her, said, hey Mel, you know, going back now a few years i gave you that shout out do you fancy collabing with me would it be right for mel to then ask for a fee because she's at this position because it is now her career because time is money for mel would she be right to then say to sam my fees are too high If it was with regards to me, I answered the question. I couldn't, at least for that one time, I owe Sam that one collaboration. That's if I were, you know, I'm talking about if I had over 300,000 subscribers, it was my career, time was money. I feel I owe Sam that collaboration free of charge. That's how it goes in my book let me know your thoughts you know the sad fact is there are very few youtubers with you know the over a hundred thousand subscriber mark that do shout out um the small channels and it's it's really a shame that the bigger youtubers don't take the time to do that as well just to help the small time channels out. I think it would be nice to see. And in saying that, you know, in fact, you know, going back to Jerusha, there was comments uh, made in my video about Jerusha shouting out smaller YouTubers. So here we have somebody that was, had over a hundred thousand subscribers and would quite happily to collaborate and give shout outs to smaller channels that were much smaller than her she but I'm a great believer don't forget where you came from don't forget who helped you along the way that's what I believe don't leave people behind I'm a great believer in that try and help where you can honestly don't forget the people that were there for you and supporting you. Don't forget your friends. Even, you know, if it was just acquaintances um, at the time that helped you, they helped you. And we should never, ever forget that. Anyway, that's my little Sunday chit chat video. It won't be Sunday by the time you see this. Oh, it might be. I might just get it up to date. Anyway. Thank you so much and please join in in the conversation down below and remember to keep it nice and kind and uh, if you would like to see any more videos from me as always I shall link one here and here and if you're not already subscribed it's the A right here and I'll catch you next time. Cheers my darling people.